Hi friends, how are you today? Welcome to Joy Fido International and today we are going to chat with you about something again very interesting, very exciting. My name is Joy Fido and welcome on board. You know what we are all about. We always want to share knowledge with you, share experiences with you. And whenever these experiences come or these ideas come or this knowledge comes, we quickly come and sit and chat with you. So today is going to be one of those days where we do what I like to call the heart to heart. And the topic today is how do I develop emotional inner strength um, this is a major major topic and it's something that's been really going on in my mind and I thought it's so important to share it with you because whatever we do in life whatever it is we take on we need that inner strength to hold us together and inner strength is one of the reasons people break down so easily don't have it things happen so I love to share this with people who work with me people who follow me people who listen to me people who want to gain from my experiences in life developing inner strength is a major part of who we are and it will help you to progress in life so how do we go about this um, First of all, we all need each other. I mean, the human existence depends on each other. We cannot be anything without being there for each other. That is so important. And if this is the case, then how do we support each other so we can all thrive? We, are, we can all grow. So, in order for you to get in order for you to get what you want you need to give people what they want and that's a major part of life because it clicked the other day when i was just thinking about this you hear everybody is desperate to make money everybody's desperate to make money but how do you make money is one of those things that will come up. I don't know if I've talked about it or it's going to come one of these things. How do you make money? Money does not drop down from the sky. Money is exchanged between people. And this is why we all need this, each other. So, if you have something I need, I will come to you and get it. And I'll give you money for it. Same thing, if I have something you need, you come to me, you get it, and you exchange money to me. So, when this is multiplied over time, and across so many people, that's how people make money. So money is a product, money is knowledge, Mon money is skill, money is information. And so, whatever it is that you have that you can share with people, and they are willing to give you something in return that is money and that's why we all need each other so this desperate need to make money is again dependent on each other and I give you an example I want to share my braiding skill with you which is where we have the home training package um, it's something we put together over time based on the you know the questions will be asked and you know the need that people have based on all the chats that we get across our channel and across all the various forms that we interact with people and we decided you know instead of people hopping on the plane and traveling down here and staying in a hotel and paying all that money and leaving their families behind let's put a package together that we can send to them and then they sit in their home and work with it and achieve the skill. So that's a skill I have and I'm sharing with you. And so when I share it with you, 
you then give me something in return, a contribution for my skill that I've taken years to put together. And so that automatically becomes we're exchange. So that's where we're needing each other now. So if it turns out that what I'm willing to share with you, you're not interested in, then you're not going to contribute anything to me. And that's where I have something to give you, but you're not willing to take it. So that just happens that way. So I don't get anything from you. And then if this happens with time, then I don't have a business. Because I'm willing to share my knowledge, my skill with you, and you are not willing to take it. So then we tell me fizzles out. But if you keep contributing to me, then I keep bringing more knowledge to you. And then I grow. And so that's the same way it will happen to you too. If you not gain the skill of braiding or weaving or whatever, and you're willing to share it with your clients and they're happy to come and get their se your service and they contribute to you, you open more shops. You share more of your skill, you employ more people, and the business grows. So it's a give and take scenario and that's how we contribute to each other in life. So, and like I said earlier, it could go wrong where you say you don't want it. And then with time, nobody wants it and I close shop. And that could also happen to you. You have your skills, you have your experiences, you have the knowledge, nobody wants it. You don't grow. But that's scenario one. Scenario two, I will continue to share my knowledge with you, which is what I do now. I'll continue to share. And then, yes, we get people who absolutely love what we do and they keep coming back, and so things continue to grow here. And that's why you see me continue to come here from time to time. I have knowledge, I have experience, I have ideas, and I come here and I share it with you. And so I continue to grow. So now that I'm talking about emotional inner strength, I believe it is my mission. You remember we, we've been reading this book, The Purpose Driven Life, which again, we still got a few more chapters to go. Now the reason I haven't been coming back with that is not because I don't want to finish it. I want to finish it. But there's a lot going on with me right now. And so I don't have the time to sit down and read. And when I do credit time and read, I will continue on that. But the idea I'm sharing with you today is when, when it hits me, I write it down immediately and I come. So it comes straight from my heart to you. And so from that book, we've understood that we all have a mission in life. And one of my missions is to share my experiences with you. And that's why I keep coming back to share them. Now, inner strength is so important. Based on all the things I do, which is coming back to you from time to time, we do videos on Instagram, we do videos on YouTube, and then I post as much as I can as well on Facebook, and we interact with as many people, millions and millions of people across the world, which, thank God and by His grace, we've got an award for it. I will show you that award this night. And so, I then get people who all they want to do out there is give me negative energy they find everything i do not worth it they find everything we share here negative they want to just break the vibe that we have here this is where emotional strength comes in because one of the things we want to do, which we are going to do with time, is to guide as many people as possible to start getting on all these channels as well. Because I've done it over the years and I have all the experience. So typical me, I want to share what I know. Um, I've been invited to so many places in London where I have to give talks on how I can guide people to get onto YouTube in particular. And all of them have been really 
exciting you know interacting with people real life this time not just on channels and people have been so taken into the vibe of what they can do so just like you now you have so much experiences you have so much knowledge you want to share with the world and so people are coming they have their passion they have their talents so they're thinking how do I get on board how do I share what I know and then I'm thinking oh dear how can these people be strong enough to handle this negative people out there and that's why I decided I have to bring this on because that workshop is coming soon the one we are organizing apart from the ones that people invite me to come and give talks we've decided to organize ours where we then start sharing our experiences with you so what is emotional strength or inner strength how does it affect people not everybody will love you and not everybody's meant to love you we also read that in that purpose driven life but sometimes it could get a bit too much because if people are constantly giving you negative where do you then develop the strength to carry on that's why I decided to, to talk about this today because I know so many people that are struggling with that strength that comes from inside now you may find and this is what they say so much about women we may be physically not strong we may look physically weak and this is where we we have these issues with our male counterparts they are physically strong but mentally and emotionally, they cannot handle what women handle. And I know my kids have asked me in the past, but mom, how, how does that happen? And I had to think about it. I said, okay, it could make sense. We get pregnant. We carry a baby in our body for nine months. Now, if you haven't been pregnant with a child you will not understand where this is coming from because how do you cope with a baby kicking your belly day in day out for those periods how do you cope with it with a early morning sickness how do you cope with all the emotions that come with that and then after all of that then you go through the process of labor and then as if that's not enough sometimes you have the cesarean session you have those needles going through your back epidural and all of that happening and then we have to take all of that on so that strength has to come one way or the other that's woman for you we find the strength so Anyway, just to give you a heads up, we're, we're recording this live on Instagram. So if you are friends, um, please join us in this discussion. Um, send us your message messages. We'll chat with you. We're more than happy to chat with you. And of course, our YouTube viewers, again, we're so happy to have you on board because we love to share with you. And we love you being there as part of our journey so this is why we keep coming back to you with things that we know because we want you to be empowered as much as we have been empowered so women have to find a way to be strong but to develop that inner strength to deal with life the way it is to deal with society the way it is is one of those things that we have to find a way to handle it and this is one of the things I'm coming here to chat with you about today because I know so many of our viewers out there who constantly ask me these questions how do you cope with these things so now on a regular basis emotions is such a big thing to handle 
I mean, you could find yourself in a day from morning till night, you would have gone through maybe three or four or five different emotions. Emotions, you're happy, emotions, you're sad, you're emotions, you're anxious, emotions, you're weeping and crying, emotions that you're excited and ecstatic. And so emotions just range. Sometimes from hour to hour, from minute to minute, and from day to day. Yesterday you were so excited, something amazing happened and, and today is like, oh my goodness, where did all that disappear to? So in a regular life, you have issues with your husband, say you're a woman, I mean you're a wife, and then your emotions go up, down, and then vice versa, husband, wife, or partner, or family members. You're struggling and fighting with your children, and then you have emotions with your friends. They've said something you don't like, and suddenly the emotions go high and it drops down. Um, emotions at work, your boss sent, said something that really got to you, and you said, that's it. And so this is just regular life. And so you're going to find those emotions come constantly. But that's regular life. And so some of these emotions could lead to breakdown. People really break down from emotions. These emotions yo you. Um, people get angry. People get stressed. People get depression from emotions. Sometimes it leads to schizophrenia. That's when we're going further and further. And then it's gotten to a point where emotions could lead to suicide. Depending on what it is you're having these emotions with. And so, it is one of those things that we have to learn to handle. Because emotions could make you or they could break you. And in one of my um, trainings that I've had to deal with in the past, I talk about this so many times in this channel, Neuro Linguistic Programming. NLP. I was lucky enough to take on that course and it's one of the best things I did in my life because it was one of those investments I made that really helped me because apart from just doing the course after that course I started reading so many books about this and that's where this purpose driven life idea also came on board somebody recommended it to me and I started having so many more books. I have so many. My library is full with understanding emotions. Because again, some people are so sensitive. You don't know what you just say to somebody and the whole mood changes. The mood changes on a negative basis and suddenly decisions they're taking, they cannot take control of it anymore. Because it's just gone overboard. And I remember some of the programs we also brought on this channel, we talk about the different types of who we are. And I've said the mental self, the physical self, uh, the emotional self and the spiritual self. So all of these things add up to make who we are. But across board, emotions plays a major part. Because if your emotion suddenly switches, your spirit gets tampered, depending on how that emotion went. If it was an exciting emotion, your spirit is elated. If your emotion is down, your spirit just goes down. And so we need to learn to understand how to control our emotions. Now, what about on a regular basis and the kind of things that will happen to emotions when we experience it. But now when you put yourself in the public eye, like what I'm doing now, sitting down here and chatting with you, I am out there across the world. And on our channel, we've got how many million views? So that's the number of people that are seeing me. And this number of people have issues with me. 
So you get the one who's excited with what I'm saying, and you get the one who's irritated, and you get the ones who's angry, you get the ones, and this is what happens. Then they throw all of this at me. And that's what comes with when you're in the public eye. And this is again why I'm thinking, when I want to share my experience of YouTube with people who want to get involved, how do you cope with this emotional yo-yos? How do you handle this attack? Because this is what's going on. I've met so many people who are great at what they do, who are passionate at what they do, who are excited, who have talents, who have skills. But just the thought of being thrown out to the public, to be scrutinized, by everybody and to be given comments now they freeze they suddenly freeze and you know what that causes what happened you've lost your life mission you've lost it because there was something in you there's something God has put in you to bring to the world remember I said we all need each other there's something they're so unique about you that you need to share with the world. But why can you not do it? Because you're so scared of being thrown out in this open arena for people to start judging you and criticizing you and telling you things that you cannot handle because your emotion is so sensitive to deal with it. So these people, their gifts, their talents, their skills, their experiences, their knowledge, all the things they could have shared with the world end up staying inside them. You know sometimes they say the richest place in the world is the graveyard because people like this have died with their knowledge. They've died with their, their skills. They've died with their talents because they don't want to share it for fear of being scrutinized, for fear of being attacked for fear of being told things that just break them down. This is what celebrities are dealing with. And most times, I mean, being here, dealing with the public eye, I can really work with, you know, what people like Beyonce experiences or Kim Kardashian. One time I was reading, um, I was reading comments on Kim Kardashian's Instagram page. And I tell you, I was, I was cringing. And I, I hoped that maybe she doesn't have to read these comments. Maybe somebody reads it for her. And I remember Lady Gaga, you know, you know what she's like. And she sings all these songs and crazy songs. And you go and look at the YouTube channel and you see more hits than likes. But she's doing something that she loves doing. And so, when I look at things like that, I just feel, you know what? Just stay strong and carry on. Don't give up. And so, this is what, this is what social media brings to people who have something they want to share with the world. And then suddenly, they cannot handle it. But I tell you what's interesting, what I find interesting. Now, people who come on social media just to attack other people, to criticize, to look for a way to do something that is so negative, I, I, I find two things about these people. Number one, they've seen that you're doing something that's worthwhile. And they really probably cannot do it themselves. So what's the best thing they can do? Let's attack this person. Let's throw a negative vibe at this person. Now what's the purpose of that? So that we can stop this person. Now what I always wonder is, what does this person feel after they've written these negative comments and things that are so cringing? What do they feel? They feel happy inside. They feel, yes, I've got one on her. 
I'm excited. I gave her something that would make her think. And so they feel good that they've done something negative. And then this is this is what they are expecting from the person. So they've thrown a negative comment at you, something that's really nasty, that's unencouraging, not, not exciting, not supporting, not helping you to bring more out of wherever you got those knowledge from. And then they're hoping that you get so angry and you stop. Stop doing what you're doing because you see, we've got one on you. What about on a regular basis and the kind of things that could happen to emotions when we experience it? But now when you put yourself in the public eye, like what I'm doing now, sitting down here and chatting with you, I am out there across the world. And on our channel, we've got how many million views? So that's the number of people that are seeing me. And this number of people have issues with me. So you get the one who's excited with what I'm saying, and you get the one who's irritated, and you get the ones who's angry, you get the ones, and this is what happens. Then they throw all of this at me. And that's what comes with when you're in the public eye. And this is again why I'm thinking, when I want to share my experience of YouTube with people who want to get on board, how do you cope with this emotional yo-yos? How do you handle this attack? Because this is what's going on. I've met so many people who are great at what they do, who are passionate at what they do, who are excited, who have talents, who have skills. But just the thought of being thrown out to the public, to be scrutinized by everybody, and to be given comments, now they freeze. They suddenly freeze. And you know what that causes? What happened? You've lost your life mission. You've lost it because there was something in you, there's something God has put in you to bring to the world. Remember I said we all need each other? There's something that's so unique about you that you need to share with the world. But why can you not do it? Because you're so scared of being thrown out in this open arena for people to start judging you and criticizing you and telling you things that you cannot handle because your emotion is so sensitive to deal with it. So these people, their gifts, their talents, their skills, their experiences, their knowledge, all the things they could have shared with the world, end up staying inside. You know, sometimes they say the richest place in the world is the graveyard. Because people like this have died with their knowledge. They've died with their, their skills. They've died with their talents because they don't want to share it for fear of being scrutinized, for fear of being attacked, for fear of being told things that just break them down. This is what celebrities are dealing with. And most times, I mean, being here dealing with the public eye, I can relate what we, you know, what people like Beyonce experiences or Kim Kardashian. One time I was reading, um, I was reading comments on Kim Kardashian's Instagram page, and I tell you, I was, I was cringing, and I, I hoped that maybe she doesn't have to read these comments. Maybe somebody reads it for her. And I remember Lady Gaga, you know, you know what she's like, and she sings all these songs and crazy songs, and you go and look at the YouTube channel and you see more hits than likes. But she's doing something that she loves doing. And so, when I look at things like that, I just feel, you know what? Just stay strong and carry on. Don't give up. And so, this is what this is what social media brings to people who have something they want to share with the world. And then suddenly, they cannot handle it. 
But I'll tell you what's interesting, what I find interesting. Now, people who come on social media just to attack other people, to criticize, to look for a way to do something that is so negative. I, I, I find two things about these people. Number one, they've seen that you're doing something that's worthwhile. And they really probably cannot do it themselves. So what's the best thing they can do? Let's attack this person. Let's throw a negative vibe at this person. Now, what's the purpose of that? So that we can stop this person. Now, what I always wonder is, what does this person feel after they've written these negative comments and things that are so cringing? What do they feel? They feel happy inside. They feel, yes, I've got one on her. I'm excited I gave her something that will make her think. And so they feel good that they've done something negative. And then this is this is what they are expecting from the person. So they've thrown a negative comment at you, something that's really nasty, that's unencouraging, not, not exciting, not supporting not helping you to bring more out of wherever you got this knowledge from and then they're hoping that you get so angry and you stop stop doing what you're doing because you see we've got one on you for people who are thinking of joining this this is where you have to think you really have to think because this is what is bring is brought to me over the years now, over the years, I have learned to understand, again with my NLP training and all the books I read, I have got to understood, I understand now, that it's all about ego. It's about ego. This ego they have, you know, some people say a chip on your shoulder. This chip on their shoulder is making them feel, you know what? is always on the screen she can get access to me so let me throw something to her i don't care so their ego feels satisfied but you see it's also about ego on the receiver's side so what happens your ego gets dented you feel bad you feel angry you feel upset and now this is the big message is a war of egos so remember our topic how do you handle emotional inner strength is a war of egos their ego says attack her tell her things that's going to stop her she's not going to come out with another video again it will give her time to think about herself and this receiving ego says you know what what did i do wrong i thought i'm helping i'm trying my best here and so the ego feels then but you know what it's only ego. It doesn't change anything about who you are. You are still who you are. You still get your ideas, you still get all your skills, you still get all your knowledge, your passion is intact, your talent is there. You are who you are. And that's what's happening here. I am who I am. And I tell you, I do not see your negative comments. I'm sorry. If I have disappointed you, and I will say, I will sit here and say so much thank you to all the amazing people out there who give us constructive advice, who support us, who are willing to listen, who share the knowledge we share with them, with other people as well, and gain something from it. We'll say a big thank you, and we love working with you. But to all these people who feel all they want to do is stop us from what we do, I'm sorry, I don't see your comment. I'm already, but I don't see, you know why? Because my ego is not like that. My ego does not stop me from doing whatever I want to do. I have such inner strength that helps me to carry on. And this is what experience brings on board. Because I've been dealing with things like this for as long as, and I remember the early days when I started YouTube and then I used to be so angry and I used to react and I used to fight back and I realized it wasn't getting me anywhere. I wasn't getting anything out of it. 
All I was doing was just stressing myself unnecessarily. So if you want to get on board with this, the big message, it is a war of ego. And you can train your ego to not hear the negative. You can train your ego to ignore all the nonsense. You can train your ego to just stay strong and deal with life as it comes. Then to sit down and be looking at people who have nothing to do with their lives. I can tell you that for sure. Because if you're busy, if you're thinking of what next you can contribute to the world, if you're thinking, how else can I help other people? How else can I better my life? Your job would not be to sit and wait until you see a video and then you jump on it. People fight so much. I remember one of our videos we did, you know, creating these braids on this Caucasian lady. And if you go and watch that video, that is the most hated video ever. Why? Cultural appropriation. What is that? We are all human beings. Why do people have to make such a big deal of race, color, this, that, that, that? Why? At this rate, is there an end to this? I mean, I know so many people who start teaching their children to hate. And then you go to school, kids go to school and they say, don't fight. Why did you fight? And then two days later, that's not your race. That's not your friends. Don't deal with them. Why? But you just taught the child. Uh, there, there was a video I saw where this young girl went to one of these conferences and was speaking to these leaders of the world. And she said, I don't get it. When we go to school, you'll be expelled for fighting in class. But there's so much hate out there in the world. So why are you expelling children in primary or secondary school for fighting? Why can't we start from now? And that's the same thing we're doing across board. Wherever forum we find ourselves, we're hating and fighting and hating and fighting. There's no hope. But you know, that's on a general level. But on an individual level, do you want to get ahead in life? Do you want to get on with what it is that's your mission in life? I say, don't close your doors and say, you've had enough and say, I don't want to deal with the world because everybody hates me. Reason being, if you're waiting for everybody to love you, it's never going to happen. It is never going to happen. Because if you become the person that everybody loves, then something has gone wrong with you. You know why? You have lost your identity. You have lost who you are. Because the minute you try to be yourself, there will always be people out there who want to change you from being yourself. They want you to become what they think you should be. And that's not what we are here to do. We're not here to change ourselves to suit people out there. All we are here to do is to share our experiences with you, is to share our knowledge with you, is to, because we just love to share, because that's who we are. Because our experiences over time may help you, especially young people. I mean, we've been there for as long as we have, and we know that life is tough. Thanks, someone just said to me they love my hair. Thank you so much. So, life is tough. And if you want to give up just because people don't like what you said, people don't want to like the way you look, people don't like what you're doing, then you're going to close your door and your life is not going to go well. So you need to stay strong. You need to develop that inner strength. So if you've got skills, you've got passions, you got experiences, you got knowledge, you got ideas, you got anything you want to share with the world and is burning really deep down in your heart and you feel you really have to get it out, please by all means do that. Don't wait to be loved by everybody. Remind yourself constantly that it's your ego that gets dented and it's not you. And 
ego is only a chip on your shoulders. It's just a nagging voice telling you, did you hear that? Did you see the way that person looked at you? Did you hear that comment they made? They say they don't like your dress. They say they don't like your looks. They say your hair is not nice. So that's ego making all that noise. And you just tell ego, you know what? I don't care. I've heard it, but I don't care. Because my life is more important than that. So that's a big message today. And so, don't let any of these things get to you. Because clearly, we're going to, we're going to put together this program on helping you get onto various media, especially the YouTube. And this is one of the biggest things that we've been asked over time. And we know how much it hurts. But you know what? You're going to be strong and learn to develop this inner strength. Because this inner strength is required in everything you do in life. Like I said, it could be in your place of work, it could be in your school, it could be with your friends, it could be in your family, it could be with your husband or your wife, it could be with anyone that you know. And that's what makes the world go round. We must interact with each other. And the more we interact with each other, the more difficult it becomes. Because not everybody's going to like it. So that's the big message. So stay strong, develop that inner strength, and you're going to live a happier, healthier, more beautiful life than you ever wished for. So this is the end of the message today, and we really want you to like us on Facebook, um, or rather follow us, there's Joy Fido, there's World Braiding, we draw out a lot of things there, um, like our YouTube videos subscribe to our channel because there's always all kinds of things i mean our channel is as far as i know one of those channels that's not boring we bring everything across board that we love that we're experiencing that we want to share with you then of course on instagram stay with us we have world of braiding and we have joy fido and we have so many more we're into food now um we're also into fashion and we're also into hair so all of these things just follow us and be part of us and we'll all grow together we all need each other to grow so thank you so much and we'll see you in our next video stay blessed and god guide you always